Welcome everyone to another edition of Main Street Soapbox. Today we're in Belfast and this week's question is going to be an interesting one. And what made me think of it was that I was in a restaurant the other day and there were four teenagers uh, sitting around a booth and it was totally quiet. Come to find out when I looked closer they were all texting on their, on their phone. Um, and it made me think of this week's question, oh excuse me. I don't know if you know that this month is National Cell Phone Courtesy Month. Oh, uh, excuse me. Uh, wait. Jeez, I can't hear a thing. Uh, gee, who, folks, uh, do you mind uh, maybe just waiting a few minutes? Okay, just. Yes, dear. What? Oh, I'm in the middle of a show. No, you. A quart of milk? Oh, come on. Oh, okay. Well, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll see what I can do. Okay. Um, oh, yep. Yep. And what else? Butter. Okay. Okay. And is, is that all? Hi. Would you like to be on community television? I have a question for you. Do you mind? Sure. Just a short one. It's, it's very easy. Welcome to Main Street Soapbox. Hi, how are you? Good. Good, good. The question is, um, cell phone etiquette. What do, you, what do you think about cell phone etiquette? Do you think it's a problem? Oh, yeah. People are rude. <laughs> the, the people are rude, there's no doubt yeah. about it? Yeah, they yeah. are. Where do you see it the worst, do you think? What's um, the worst situation that you see? Grocery seen? stores. Grocery uh, stores. And I see it because I have small children, right. and people are too busy talking on their phone to mind where they're walking. Oh, and then really? they end up running so. over your feet with these carts that are full of groceries and it drives me nuts. Oh, really? <laughs> ah, okay. But, um, do you guys, are you guys looking forward someday to having a cell phone? Yes. Yeah. Are you? Very soon. <laughs> are you? Now, are you going to be considerate of, of other people when you have your cell phone? Yes, yeah. because I'm not going to be talking to people inside the store. I'll never uh, use it in this <laughs> outside. So there's certain situations where you yeah. can use it and certain yeah. situations where, where you, you can't. can't. The only reason you should be using a phone in the store is if you have to call 911 or it's an emergency call that you really have to take. That's mm -hmm. the only reason you should be but taking a phone. When you walk in your store and you use a phone, sometimes someone other people can get hurt, you can get hurt, and it's not that fun. Right. Okay. Once this lady was on the phone and I watched and a little boy's foot got ran over. He was screaming and crying and... She didn't listen. She yeah. just walked right she away. She just kept walking. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's terrible. Oh, that's terrible. Well, I think it's great that you kids being this age are aware of these things because there's a lot of older people who aren't aware of these things. So that's very, that's very good. Okay. Um, anything else? No. no. Okay. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. Bye-bye, guys. Bye. Bye-bye. Welcome to the show. Thank you. We have a question of the week on this show. And you folks are from away. Yes. Do you mind me asking where you're from? Way away. Uh, way away. Even better. Ontario. Ontario. Okay. Well, that's not too far. That's not too far. Until you get, until you go halfway across it. Yeah. <laughs> true. <laughs> true. And then it gets far. <laughs> the question is, cell phone etiquette. Have you folks had any experience with cell phones? Cell phones and cell phone etiquette. Yes. You do. They you should have. be thrown out windows. They should be shot, huh? Definitely. Now, what situations do you find are drivers, the, wor the worst? Drivers? Drivers not paying attention. Uh, people walking along the street, bumping into you because they're so busy talking, or going into a restaurant mm. or a theater mm -hmm. where somebody's cell phone keeps ringing and ringing. And My objections. <laughs> so that, that advice that they give at the beginning of the movie saying, would you please turn up? Some folks are not listening to that. Of course they don't. Mm -hmm. I produce for a community theater group. You do, okay. And we have signs like that plastered all over the theater. Mm -hmm. But during the evening, the ushers have at least five or six occasions that they have got to That go. many, yes. really? Even though... You're told. There are, you're told, the first plus thing, the signs. The first thing announced is turn off your cell phones and flash cameras are not allowed. Right. Nobody pays any attention. And they don't pay attention. 
So probably while you're making that announcement, they're busy texting someone and they can't hear you. We were at a funeral a few weeks ago mm -hmm. where in the middle of the service, mm -hmm. somebody's cell phone went off. Oh, yeah. That is not acceptable. It's terrible. It's yeah. terrible. So, if that's your question of the week, that's my that answer is. of the week. Okay, very good. I don't well, like thank them. you. Okay. How about very yourself, sir? I would just say, relating back to my wife, yes. have her fill you in on road etiquette. Mm. With two cell phones, oh. the same person. Two cell phones. One I on drove, each hand You're to kidding. their ears. I drove behind a lady one night. I presume she perhaps was a realtor, but she had a cell phone in each hand, and she'd lift her hand and steer with this hand with the cell phone, and she'd talk. Right. And then she oh left. Oh, my God. And I tried to get round her, but I couldn't get round either side because she was weaving. Oh, my God. That so when terrible. I did get past her and thump my horn and shake my fist at her, she gave me a very rude gesture. Wow. Now, in Ontario, are there... Yeah, there are laws. There are laws against there are driving? Laws to you're not allowed. They have just been introduced now where you're not allowed to be driving down the highway. In the city, they don't seem to bother you. But on the highway, you're not well, allowed to be on the cell phone. You're not allowed in the city. It's part of the whole thing. It's hand Ontario, held. Right? Okay. You're allowed to have ears and mic. Right. You're allowed to speak on a cell phone. Right. Communicate, but not holding not it. Holding it. So if you are holding it, you're breaking the law. Okay. But I think case of two got then, a BlackBerry today, so they pass. they say, oh, well, I didn't know that's not quite a cell phone. Ah, that's, a, that's a BlackBerry. Yeah, it's a BlackBerry. Same thing. <laughs> so I'm afraid. So uh, unfortunately, it, it may take quite a few deaths in in this yeah, country and, and in and Canada, Canada before the politicians well, wake up. Well, in uh, Europe, I mean, I was a, I actually would raised in Ireland and mm -hmm. Belfast, Northern okay. Ireland. Okay. Okay. And yes. when we were back there two years ago, mm -hmm. they are totally prohibited to be in restaurants, in uh, public places, mm -hmm. and in cars. And in cars. You're caught with them, there is a gigantic fine. Well, I think they're well, they're well ahead of us. Oh, yes. Yeah. Well, I think they had so many deaths and accidents that they decided to pay hospital bills or... Uh, put them off the road. So Good point. Good point. Are they a thing here? Is it people here use them a lot? Uh, they do use them a lot and, and they are not um, uh, outlawed in cars. Oh, they're not outlawed no. yet. No. Now, New York State, they are. They are, yes. They are in New York yes. State. Maine is still, the politicians are still apparently debating the issue. The issue. Well, hopefully you'll get it because I think they are a killer. Do you think years ago when the phone was invented, what did all the letter writers say? They said, "Oh, the oh. <laughs> the craft of letter writing is going, going is being is going is going out is going downhill." But weren't they right? They were. Weren't they right? You're absolutely Even right. Even back all those they, years, they were. weren't they we right? We just went past the Graham Bell Museum. I <laughs> oh, did, you? Yeah. And, uh, okay. Well, thank you very much welcome. for your time. I appreciate it. Enjoy your visit. I do think it's a problem. Yeah, I think uh, many people are focusing on their cell phones more than they are on personal interactions with people. Um, it's especially dangerous when people are driving and texting or using cell phones. And uh, um, I'm in favor of some laws that would uh, restrict that use or, or curtail it entirely. I can understand laws with driving. Uh, and maybe being in public spaces at some point, they may they may try to control that. But how about just the the, the interpersonal uh, uh, etiquette that that we seem to be losing? Is it, uh, is, is that a major problem? Do you think the disconnectedness that, well, that this technology has been kind of forcing on us? Absolutely, I happen to think it is, and I think it's a you know it's an extension of computer use. Right. And uh, we already know that uh, human beings seem terribly disconnected with nature, and uh, these technological